Black Girl Nerds. Better shake your booties for Black Girl Nerds. Paul, the gang is back together again, you know, for <laughs> for another go round this time, a, a different a different project. What are those early huddles like of how you can uh, step into this project and up the ante and and give us an even bigger payoff than the pre the previous project? Well, you know, Mila and I obviously talk a lot about a lot about the movies. Um, you know, there's not much separation between work and our personal life. Um, so, you know, we we she knew that this was a big passion project for me. Um, I played the video game 12 years ago and kind of really fell in love with it. So I fell in love with how cinematic it was, mm -hmm. you know, these beautiful landscapes, these huge creatures. Um, and I, I wrote a character for her that I knew she would like to play. You know, she's always kind of been drawn to the military. She's never played a military character in any of her movies. Um, mm -hmm. So I created a character that she would like to play to immerse that character in a world that I wanted to to put on screen. With that world on the screen, um, in some of the opening shots of the movie, it's gorgeous with the sand and the big epic views. How do you keep the sand smooth? Because I've been to a few film lots and there's the sound and there's the roll speed guy and the makeup person's doing this and people are running in. How do you keep that landscape looking so pristine That's to get very... that payoff? That's a very good question. And that consumed, like, I would say 75% of my time would be figuring that out, is um, you, you plan the day according to the sun. You know, you shoot in whatever direction, because we're shooting only with available light um, on real locations. Um, so, and you, and you plan you're going to shoot in this direction, so you want to keep that direction. Nobody goes there. Nobody goes there until the actors go there. So you have to be very disciplined about who walks into your set, because otherwise you end up with all these footprints. And then you have an army of people with brooms and wind <laughs> machines and, uh, and kind of like leaf blowers that are gonna smooth out the sand. And when that doesn't work, you can always resort to visual effects as well. Mm -hmm. um, so we, you know, for the big helicopter shots where we're going around, you know, there's no way that you can keep all of that sand pristine. Mm -hmm. So at that point you, you rely on visual effects. Yeah, it was exciting because I think of this one shot where T.I., when they're first kind of making their way there and in there, they look and that's the end of the tracks and the footprints and there's nothing else. And it's just this beautiful, clear sand. And then the adventure begins for all of them. I spoke to Mila about the, the longevity of her career and how you ingratiate, helped ingratiate her with a whole nother dynamic and legion of fans with gamers. And it gives her a really unique per you know unique longevity in her career not just as an actress but as a as a gamer because when i see her now i can't it's hard for me sometimes to separate her from that gamer world because she's been so present in it have you guys ever talked about that her her career and being remembered so fondly in both worlds as an actress and in the gaming community well i, I think it's you know it's something i'm aware of Every time we go through an airport, you know, it's it's amazing how many people approach her and say they're huge fans and, you know, reference the movies. I mean, it's um, it's really it's it's a lovely lovely thing. And I think now she's kind of up the ante because um, her character from the movie also appears in the video game, which is a tie a tie in that we just did, uh, which is really great. So for the first time, you've actually got uh, a movie and a video game and an actress in both occupying the same space, which is, is unique. And lastly, being out in those, in those elements, it's real remote, it's away from civilization. Where do you sleep when you guys are out in these remote locations? Do you rough it out like the cast and tent and immerse yourself into the experience? Or how do you kind of immerse your own self into the elements? Well, I mean, yeah, we were shooting hundreds and hundreds of miles away from the nearest habitation. So the tent was the only place to live. And uh, we all lived in tents together, absolutely. You know, the cast and the crew built a huge camaraderie, I would say, because we were all living in one unit, you know, living in the middle of nowhere with no cell phone, no internet, intermittent water, um, terrible storms that would try and blow all the tents away. You know, everyone was kind of bonded by a common purpose, which was to make the best possible movie. And, uh, you know, we all roughed it. And uh, I think we all enjoyed it. I know I did. It was awesome. Thank you so much for your time, Paul. This is so cool. And I, I needed to know about that sand. <laughs> <laughs> this smart question. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better 
shake your booties for black girl nerves.